Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we have to talk about whether or not Taylor and Travis's camp just soft launched their engagement. <laughs> Don't worry, I will explain everything. So there was a piece of news, an article that went out last week that sent the Swifties, the Tavis stands into an absolute tizzy on the internet, at least on my side of the internet. I could not, there were so many tweets, comments, discussions about this article on Friday that I knew immediately I was going to have to talk about it. We were going to have to discuss it on this show this week because there was an article that came out from Entertainment Tonight. Now we've mentioned this, we've talked about this on this show before, that Entertainment Tonight is Taylor's camp, specifically Taylor, Taylor's camp, their preferred outlet. I think Tree Payne, Taylor's publicist, this is my own opinion, I think she definitely has some sort of working relationship with Entertainment Tonight because, I've said this before, they were the first outlet to report the Taylor Swift, Joe Alwyn breakup. Okay, and there's been a lot of other things over the last year or two where it's pretty clear and obvious that they're getting their sourcing and their information from Taylor's people. It's just, it's pretty clear. I think if you are a pop culture fan, but also if you're a Taylor Swift fan, you kind of know the sources to trust and the sources not to trust. And Entertainment Tonight tends to be, again, a source I feel pretty comfortable trusting um, because, again, I do think they have that relationship with Taylor's team. They came out with an article that basically said that Taylor and Travis's loved ones expect an engagement to happen sooner rather than later. And this hat just sent, again, Swifties, Tavis, stands into an absolute tailspin. So this was the exact quote that the source told Entertainment Tonight. Taylor and Travis are doing amazing and their loved ones see an engagement coming sooner than later. They make a great match and there's no question about that. Now, obviously this article came out on the heels of Taylor and Travis in Italy, their little romantic vacation post Taylor shows in Paris. And so it has everybody asking, are Taylor and Travis already engaged? If not, when are they going to get engaged? And oh my gosh, I cannot believe this article was published. And a lot of people also feel like this, this article was kind of the soft launch of the engagement. It was preparing the general public, the fans for when it is maybe eventually down the road, announced that they are engaged. And that's kind of how entertainment news happens. Espe publicists will especially like sprinkle news every so often to kind of lead people to expect something that's coming. So I think, in my opinion, again, Taylor's camp would drop something like this so that when the engagement does happen, it doesn't completely shock people. It like kind of eases people into the idea of them getting engaged. And I honestly, I can see it. And I know we've said, I've said on here before that I think the public pressure on, on to Taylor and Travis has been a lot. I think there's a lot of expectations thrust upon them, but if they are genuinely super serious, wanting to get engaged, wanting to get married, this is, I could not be happier about this. I would be so excited for them to get engaged. This would just be so absolutely incredible. So like I said, this article came out, everyone was starting to freak out. Then Taylor immediately, her first show in Sweden was that night. And there was another little thing that popped up that got people even more convinced that an engagement is coming because Taylor Nation, which is a um, Twitter account that is basically like run by someone in Taylor Swift's world. Like it's it's an updates account kind of thing, but it's 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 a part of Taylor Swift's camp. Like it's not fan run. It's definitely they have information that normal people don't have. Um, and so they tweeted a video of Taylor singing her performing her line from Lavender Haze. The only kind of girl they see is a one night or a wife. And in her performance in Stockholm, when she sang or a wife, she finger wagged her hand, putting up her ring finger. Taylor Nation quote tweeted that performance 
and wrote, waiting for someone to compare this to the first show videos. And everyone was like, why are they wanting us to compare the two videos? And when you compare the two videos, on the very first night that Taylor ever performed this song, she doesn't do anything with her hands. She just sings sings a line. The only kind of girl they see is a one or a wife. And then obviously now she's wagging her finger. And this is, again, it's we're all theorizing here. We're all, you know, maybe taking things too far. But this has led a lot of people to think like, is Taylor wagging her ring finger because she either is engaged or is about or is about to get engaged? Obviously, we don't know. Time will tell. We'll find out eventually one way or the other. But it is it is getting to that point. We are getting to that point where things are getting serious. They're heading towards that one year anniversary. Again, I feel like it's a thing in the football world where players, they don't really get engaged during the season because they want to be, you know, fully focused on football. So I do believe that if an engagement is coming, it's going to come this summer um, or it's not going to happen until probably the following off season. I, I think it's on the way. I think we will get an announcement relatively soon, like in the next couple of months. So everyone buckle up. Um, this, this article also came out the same day that photos of Taylor and Travis on a little Italian boat excursion were released. It was like this beautiful kind of gondola, not gondola, but this gorgeous boat ride. It was raining, but Taylor had her little camera with her. Um, and she was taking photos of Travis Their Her bodyguard was taking photos of Taylor and Travis together. And a lot of people felt like, is this an engagement photo shoot? Like, this is interesting. So all of this happening on the same day was just sending a lot of people into a tizzy. Again, we'll have to see what comes of it. We'll have to see what ends up happening. But exciting times. Taylor and Travis seem to be doing better than ever. They seem to be so so happy. And um, all I want is for them to be happy. So I can't wait. Um, And then speaking of like what's to come for Taylor and Travis. So there's some reporting that Taylor and Travis could be heading to the Monaco Formula One race this weekend. So the Sun, which again, take it with a grain of salt, but the Sun reports that Taylor and Travis will be going to Monaco following Taylor's final show in Portugal, which is on Saturday night. So she has Sunday free this weekend, which is when the Monaco race is happening. Um, And according to the Sun, they said, Travis and Patrick are are minority owners um, of a Formula One team, and they've been wanting to go to the glamorous Monaco Grand Prix for a while now. They decided to take their ladies there as they want to share this experience with them to be there for one of the most exciting and chic sporting events in the world, blah, 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 blah. Um, and, uh, and so they basically think that they're gonna, they're gonna be together for that and then head to Madrid for Taylor's concerts in Madrid. So we'll have to see. I would not be surprised also if Ryan Reynolds is there and Blake Lively potentially because Ryan Reynolds is also an owner of the same Formula One team that Travis and Patrick are minority minority owners of. So maybe there'll be a big reunion for everybody involved in Monaco. Again, have to wait and see. We'll, of course, cover it should there be any major developments. Um, But yeah, very exciting times in the Taylor Travis world. I would love to know what you guys think about these engagement reports and rumors. Do you think there's truth to them? Should we be expecting something soon? Like, what do you guys think? Please leave all your theories, your thoughts in the comments because I would love to know what you guys think and how you feel about all of this. As always, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.